Okay, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I uh, finished watching uh, The Punisher Season 2. Seriously, this is uh, one of the best shows I've seen in a long while. I mean, I love my Marvel ones, and the, the, the Netflix shows are very dark, so it's... Uh, so, but I have last gone around to watching the Season 2. Show has already been cancelled. Come on, we knew that they were going to cancel them as soon as they got rid of uh, the you know, Daredevil, Luke Cage. And they started ramping up there, so uh, so uh, still got uh, Jessica Jones season three to come. Then that's it. No more Netflix Marvel shows. But Punisher season two so far is the best of them. And I mean, I really do enjoy the uh, the Netflix shows. And like I said, they're a lot more darker than the your Agents of Shield, your uh, the Runaways, uh, the the, uh, the Inhumans, which Inhumans should have ran for longer than it was. It should have been given an opportunity. Another great series, loved the Inhumans, absolutely fantastic, but, uh, you know, go off track a little bit, Punisher, the first season, absolutely fantastic, I love his introduction in Daredevil, so John Bernthal is a fantastic Punisher, you know, uh, it's one of these ones that would have made a uh, great translation into a movie, and, you know, uh, now that uh, that uh, Disney have uh, have Fox and have all the, the uh, Fox characters and you know, uh, the Disney, you know, the Fox, uh, Marvel characters, should I say, and they've got more of the adult themes. Let's just hope that somewhere down the line they actually decide to take the characters and maybe turn the Punisher with John Bernthal and, you know, all the next Netflix ones. They've got great actors playing great parts, and it would be great to see Luke, more Luke Cage, more Iron Fist, more Daredevil, more Jessica Jones, and definitely more Punisher, because season two of The Punisher is perfect television. I don't know, very uh, more adult. Like I said, then you're you know more mainstream ones, but the Netflix shows have always had that edge. And season two of The Punisher of the ones I've watched so far, bearing around the only ones I need to see is Jessica Jones season three and finish watching Punisher, not Punisher, Daredevil season three. But uh, I, it'll, it'll be hard if, if those can top Punisher season two. The story is perfect. The casting is perfect, and where you see the Punisher, I. I I'm not one of these people that uh, when I'm watching a show that becomes very vocal when watching it, but you watch it and I was really getting into it more than any show in recent history for me. It's the writing superb, the the, the acting superb, the cast is superb. I'm going to go I'm on IMDb now, so I'm going to do John Bernthal as Frank Castle, Ben Barnes as Billy Russo, Amber Rose Revar as uh, Dana Madrani, Josh Stewart as John Pilgrim's absolutely perfect a great villain and his arc is spot on uh uh georgia Wing uh, wingham as amy you know I, I could be here all day listing all these ones these are these are absolutely it, it is a perfect cast and the story it, it is spot on uh, but it's it's john pill the character of john pilgrim great villain and like I said his character arc is superb and Ben Barnes back as Billy Russo you know it's perfect television you know like I said the entire cast and John Bernthal as the Punisher and Frank Castle you know it's I can't say anything you know bad about it it's you know like I said not for children at all the show isn't but uh, it's one that I mean I look forward to the Blu-ray release. It's one I will definitely buy. And like I said, the Punisher character, Disney. Now, the, I mean, I'm assuming, I'm hoping that the reason the Netflix shows were cancelled was so that they can go to Disney Plus and that Disney can actually take the reins. And if they do, and I'm hoping that they do, bring the entire, the cast and the entire uh, characters that they had with the Defenders, the Defenders, which was a weak series, but bring them all back. Prove. That you can do the defenders right because you've got characters, you've got actors playing great characters, and you know the casting, like I said, in the Netflix shows has been superb. We need more of these shows, and definitely a season three of the Punisher because I'd love to know where they were going to go. Neil yeah, really want to know where they're going to go with Luke Cage as well and Iron Fist. The way those ended, they screamed to have have more TV shows, but the Punisher, I mean, just narrowly, the narrowly edges out the others uh, I've watched so far. So. I look forward to seeing, watching the rest of Daredevil Season 3 and uh, Jessica Jones Season 3, but The Punisher, if you haven't seen The Punisher Season 2, watch The Puzzle Punisher Season 2. 
I cannot recommend it enough. It's a five star TV and the last episode is perfect. It has the character arcs where you ties everything up, you know. Couldn't have ended it better myself. You know, well, if, I, if I could have ended it better, I'd be making these sort of things. But like I said, this is perfect television. I wouldn't have wanted, I'll rephrase it, I wouldn't have wanted it to end any other way. It was a perfect ending to the story. It is so. So that's been my review of Punisher Season 2. Watch it, watch it, and I hope Marvel, Disney, uh, decide to make more of these uh, on the Disney Plus channel. So that's it, uh, Punisher Season 2. That's been my review. For more videos like this, check out the rest of the videos on my In The Geek Group channels. See you all soon in another In The Geek Room review.